Hey friends, it's Miss Fogarty here. How you doing today? I'm going to be reading you a great book and this book is called Octopus Stew. And I want you to think, what would you do if an octopus was to capture, which means kind of like grab, your grandmother? Would you be a superhero and rescue her? Or would you just be scared and do nothing? We're going to see what this character does in this book. Oh, I can't wait to read it to you guys. Octopus Stew. Wow. And the first thing I want to do is I really want to just look at this picture. I'm noticing that there's a boy and he's drawing. Looks like a picture of an octopus. And I see a woman there. Maybe that's his grandmother. She has on an orange dress. I wonder what's gonna happen in this book. When grandma saw my painting of Super Octo, she got the idea to make popo guisado, octopus stew, not exactly my favorite dish. But dad makes that, I said. Grandma snapped at me. I've been making popo guisado since your dad, el unino, since he was a boy. I didn't want it to upset her, so I didn't ask any more questions. And friends, I'm noticing something. I'm noticing that grandma is using some Spanish words. So Ms. Fogarty is going to try her best to use some Spanish words too, because in this family, they speak English and they speak Spanish. Wonder what's going to happen next. So later, while I was playing Super Ram with Chana, grandma told me to get ready to go shopping with her. Grandma gave me a look and said, ¿Qué es esto? Boy, if you think I'm going to the store with you wearing that silly cape, you lost your mind. And I'm noticing that he has the cape on. I wonder why and what color is his cape? Hmm, what color is it? It's red, right, it's red. And the doggy, look at what the doggy has on. The doggy has on a cape too. At the store, I saw lots of cool looking fish. I took pictures so I could look them up later. And he's taking a picture with his phone. Yes, he's taking a picture with his phone. Grandma picked the biggest octopus in the store. She said it was the best of the bunch. It looked like it was still alive to me. Kind of creepy. I decided to do some web surfing, and that means he's looking on his phone, looking up things, when a warning popped up on my screen about octopuses. I tried to tell grandma, but she wouldn't let me. How often do I have to tell you to keep that thing in your pocket when you go out with me, she said. Seems like grandma's getting a little mad. Back home, grandma unwrapped the oct octopus, gave it a good scrubbing, and put it in a pot of boiling water. I did my best to stay out of the kitchen. So you know what kids? In different cultures, different families eat different types of things. And they, what grandma's about to make is octopus stew. Might sound creepy, but sometimes we eat things in different cultures and they're really not creepy. They're just different than what we usually eat. So I wonder what's gonna happen next. Then grandma came to sit with me while I did my homework. All of a sudden, strange noises started to come from the kitchen. Bloop, 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 bloop. ¿Qué será eso? What could that be? Grandma asked. Ramsey, quedato aquí. Voy a ver. Stay here. Look at his face. How does he look right now? Hmm. He looks like he's really surprised, right? Shocked, he's wondering, what is that noise that I hear? Even the dog, look at his face. The noise got louder. Bloop, 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 bloop. What's that noise? Oh my goodness, I wonder what it is. The octopus, got so big, it blew the lid off the pot. Well, I tengo cuidado. Grandma, watch out, I warned. 
Escondete, Grandma hollered, hi. Oh my goodness, what are they gonna do? <gasps> Those are the noises they hear. Thump that octopus is swirling all about. Oh my God, how would you feel if this happened to you? I would be so scared. Oh my goodness, I'm already scared right now. Vamos de aquí, I yelled. Let's get out of here. But, but it was too late. Uh-oh, the octopus has grandma. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen next? I grabbed my phone and hid until I could figure out how to rescue grandma. The octopus had to have a natural predator, something that it feared. I searched and there it was, sharks. I grabbed my drawing pad and markers and drew the biggest, meanest, scariest sharks I could create. I wonder if the octopus is gonna be scared of the sharks. Let's see. I put on my super ram cape and marched into the kitchen. You put down my grandma, I yelled. Look at him. He looks really brave right now. He has his pitcher, poor grandma. Oh no, oh no. The octopus dropped grandma and attacked Spraying it all over my drawing. <gasps> oh my goodness, what's gonna happen next? Dad interrupted. Okay, mijo, don't you think this is getting a little far-fetched? I mean, like, really, Ramsey. Hey, Dad, you broke my concentration. It's my turn to tell a story tonight. May I please finish now? <gasps> I just noticed something. This is a story that he's telling to his family. Oh my gosh, so I wonder, did this really happen? Now he's got me fooled. Did this really even happen? Let's see. Are you okay? I asked grandma. Ramsey, que paso, she said. Voy a lembre este desadino. What happened? She didn't seem to notice the 20 foot octopus behind her. Then I remembered the warning that popped on my phone and read it out loud. Important, before cooking an octopus, remove the eyes and beak. Look at his face, he's like, make that face, look like you're shocked. Oh my God, I'm so shocked. Shocked means you're surprised. <gasps> Sometimes we make that face when we're surprised. What? Cook me, take my eyes and my beak. Why? Oh my goodness. Basta ya, that's enough. Senor Pupo, Pulpo, that's octopus, said grandma. I changed my mind. We are no longer having Popo Guisado. Instead, we will have ensalada in Popo, just salad, no octopus. And Senor Popo joined us. <gasps> so the octopus actually joined them. So, friends, I'm wondering, oh, and look, at the back of the book, the author actually told us some of the ingredients to octopus stew. So if for some reason you and your family want to make octopus stew at home, you could come back onto Epic and check this book out. So ah, that book was so much fun. And I noticed at the end of the book, what are they doing together? They're all having fun eating together, even the octopus. And I don't know if I would actually eat with him, especially after he tried to uh, eat my grandmother. But uh, you know, you know, sometimes you sometimes you got to make friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book. It was so much fun to read it to you. Oh, this book was amazing. It was a little scary too, right? Yeah, I was a little scared, but that's all right. You guys, I hope you had a great time reading this book. And I can't wait to read another book with you. Bye. See you later. Have a good one.